how to tell if a rabbit is pregnant. First off, there are a couple ways you can do it. My two favorite ways, reading their behavior and obviously watching their belly shape and movement and everything. And then there is palpating. Some people are good at it. I am not. However, I also have a very large breed and so it's very easy for the babies to hide up in their, um, like either up close to their spine or just up in further up in the rib cage and stuff where you can't feel and things like that. So my simplest way, and I've gotten pretty accurate at it, but I'm also pretty good at um, reading animals and reading their behavior and, and all of that stuff. So I'm going to show you, I have three does that are bred right now and do today's Monday. They're due Friday, Saturday ish. So they're almost to full term. The reason I waited now to record this is because you can see their bellies a lot easier on camera rather than the way I do it. Like it'll still work when they're about two weeks along. Um, but as far as that goes, it's easier for me to show you now um, when they're not super far off from their due date. So I always typically watch their behavior first because that's the first indication that they got bred. A lot of does typically are very, very grumpy and um, I've got one that's a perfect example. Um, either now, depending on the breed, some of them are not terrible. Um, French slops can be pretty nice for the most part, but they'll just be more reserved. Um, so if that's the case, then typically about day five after the breeding, she will start wanting my attention or she'll just be okay with head petting if she typically is more aggressive. Um, the only instance that I've had, and this is a new one, and it's also a first timer, a first time doe, she actually went reverse. She was super nice. And now that she's pregnant, which I can still tell that she is, she's gotten more standoffish and like doesn't want me to mess with her. Um, she's not aggressive or anything, but she's definitely more like, leave me alone. Um, so anyway, that is the first indication is, you know, that early week time point. Around the second week, you know, 14 days, um, their bellies will start to get firmer. You may not notice much swelling at all, um, especially if they're a first timer. If they've had litters before, you'll notice their belly get bigger quicker. Um, but just like a normal, <laughs> no, normal female. Um, and then around week three is when you should really see a belly. You might even be able to see belly your babies moving almost like a hot dog roller inside their belly a little bit. Um, so I'm hoping I can sh find one of them doing that um, and be able to show you that. I do have some old clips that hopefully I can find um, if these don't work. Um, but then obviously this late in the game, um, they will start wanting to nest and things like that. So I will probably give these girls the ones that are due Thursday. I'm pretty sure it's Thursday, Friday. Uh, yeah. Um, and so Tuesday, I will start giving the two that are due Thursday their nest boxes. And then Wednesday, I will give the one that's due Friday her nest box. Um, but I'm always watching them to see if they're going to nest at all. Um, because I have had some... Um, because I have had some start to nest early. Whew, that sun is bright, sorry. <laughs> um, so, if you notice that they're trying to pick stuff up out of wherever they are housed, even if they don't have, like if they're on wire like mine, um, they might start to do that behavior or pull fur from their dewlap, which is normal. Um, so if you notice that, then definitely give her a box. The reason I don't do it super early, let's see if I can show you this one. Um, see, so notice how wide her belly is over here. Um, so a lot of the reasons why I don't give it to them early is because they will turn it into a toilet. And so even if they will nest with it later, that's not healthy for the babies to be born in that, right? And it's just a waste and, you know, all that stuff. So that's why I typically give the nest box two days early. Notice the bulge from here to here. She's not quite dropped, like when they're getting closer to delivery, but she's very, very close. They're not as high up as they used to be. There we go. I was waiting for the belly to ooze. <laughs> but you can definitely see 
when she's not pregnant, this doesn't happen. This breed's very thick, so obviously they are large. <laughs> um, they don't lose as much right there. So her, ba her babies are not down here where they normally are. They're up further in her abdomen, which makes it harder to palpate them. Are you going to use it? <laughs> she had... She raised six um, to weaning, so I don't, I can't remember off the top of my head if she had more than that, um, but she did really, really well on her own last year. All right, now normally you would take them out of the nest or the cage to palpate them, but I'm just going to do the motion that you would do if you wanted to do it. Um, mostly, I just don't want to get her out and stress her too much. Um, so, I'm just going to crawl in here with her. <laughs> And do it so normally a lot of people go from under and then put their hands up under here to feel but I'm just gonna skip that part <laughs> and you can just put your hands up under here and do this like squeezing motion to see if you can feel a baby now like I mentioned these guys are so big like I mean I'm tall and <laughs> this is all my hands so um, they're just not an easy breed to do this with. So, I will feel around a little bit, but nine times out of ten for this breed, they are underneath her rib cage. Um, so I don't, I don't bother them too much with that. Also, it is extremely easy to miss a, a, a baby in there. Um, and so there, a lot of the reasons, like, people will do that is so that they can rebreed and not waste the time but the thing of it is, is it's by the time you could feel them it's about the two-week point they're gonna have the babies two weeks later sorry this barn has a lot of bees in it so i'm like swapping um so to me i'm like if you get to the 33 day mark typical gestation 27 to 33 days average for me has always been 31 which that's like the one date um if you want to mark it um, but past the, once they get 33, 35 days and they haven't had anything, go ahead and rebreed them. Like <laughs> I have had them have that, have, have had them have litters past that, but it was one time in my past 20 years of raising them. So like the chances of it happening are this big. So if you're not sure about the palpating and honestly, just wait, just wait it out. The only reason to do it is if you have a 4-H deadline or you're really like got to have this done now kind of situation, but there's a there's very little situations where you couldn't wait 2 weeks. Just saying. So, honestly, I feel like the best and easiest way to tell if they're pregnant is just learning to read their body language, watch their belly, see if they start swelling and get bigger. Yes, false pregnancies, they will swell, but typically it doesn't last the 31 days. Usually, if they did go 31 days and still look big, they usually lost the litter. Something else happened. Um, so, but either way, it's such a short timeline. There's no reason you can't rebreed. So, go with that. Do what you can. Don't sweat it. <laughs>